Hi everyone. Today we are going to study the user datagram protocol which we also call the UDP. So a user datagram protocol is a transport layer protocol. UDP is a part of the internet protocol suite or the IP suite which is also referred to as UDP IP suite. Uh, unlike TCP which is the transmission control protocol which is considered to be a reliable protocol UDP is an unreliable protocol and also it is a connection less protocol that means when we require a connection less services in such cases we use the UDP protocol. So in case of uh, UDP since it is a connection less protocol there is no need to establish a connection prior to data transfer. That means you do not need to take the overhead of establishing a dedicated connection prior to data transfer. Because as we said, UDP is a connectionless protocol. It is used for connectionless services. UDP helps to establish low latency and loss tol tolerating connections established over the network. So such connections which require lossless data transmission and where you want low latency, in such cases UDP is used. UDP enables process to process communication. For real-time services, real-time services wherein delivery in real time is important. Like I am communicating something and that data reaches to you at that very moment itself and not few seconds or few minutes later. Such kind of services are known as real-time services. So for any such real-time services like computer gaming, when you're doing online computer gaming or when there is voice or video communication, for such real-time services, the UDP protocol is used. Since uh, in case uh, since high performance is needed in such real time services, so UDP permits packets to be dropped instead of processing delayed packets. So any such packets which have been delayed, so wasting time on such instead of wasting time on such packets, what UDP does is simply drops those packets and um, thus saves a lot of time. There is no error checking in UDP. We uh, already discussed it in the very beginning itself. I said it's less reliable as compared to TCP. That means there is no error checking. When I say less re reliability, that means you do not count on UDP for checking the errors and all. So there is no ch error checking in UDP. But then this very feature of use UDP saves the bandwidth because a lot of time is uh, saved by not checking the errors and all. A lot of time gets consumed when you do error checking, when you send acknowledgements. So all that time is saved in case of UDP because it does not bother to do all these things. Hence, for the very same reason it is called unreliable, but, the, but at the same time, since it skips all these procedures, it saves a lot of time, it saves bandwidth, and hence it is more suitable for real-time services. The user data gram protocol is more efficient in terms of both latency and bandwidth. As I said, it saves bandwidth and it saves time because it does not get into the overhead of sending acknowledgements or checking errors. So definitely it saves a lot of time and bandwidth. So you can say that it is efficient in terms of both latency and bandwidth. Now let's look at the UDP header. A UDP header is not very complicated. It is a simple 8 byte fixed header. So this is uh, so what a UDP header looks like. You have a UDP header, then you have UDP data. Then you have the source port, which is of 16 bits. You have the destination port, which is again of 16 bits. The length field, which is of 16 bits. And the checksum field, which is of 16 bits. Now let's get into the detail of all these fields. First of all, what is your source port? It is basically a two byte long field which is used to identify the port number of the source. Very simple, source port helps to identify the port number of the source which wants to transmit the data.
Then just like source port, destination port is again a two byte long field which is again used to identify the port number but here in this case the port number of the destination packet that means the uh, for which particular host is the packet destined this identifies the des uh, port number of that particular destination then comes the length field this field tells us about the length of the UDP including the header and data that means with the help of the length field you can identify the total length of the UDP header which includes the UDP header as well as the UDP data it is 16 bits long then is your checksum field the checksum field is a two byte long field and as the name suggests it is used to check errors to verify if the data er arrived intact when, whether the data arrived intact or without any error but uh, in the IP version 4 it was not compulsory in the IP version 6 this is compulsory UDP uses a simple transmission model so if I look at the transmission model of UDP and if I get into the details of UDP data transmission I can clearly figure out that UDP uses a simple transmission model which does not include any handshake dialogues that is the three way handshaking which we have studied in connection oriented services that is not done here so it doesn't include any handshake dialogues which in turn provide obviously reliability ordering or integrity of data why do we do three-way handshaking why do we establish a dedicated connection so that there is reliability there is proper ordering of data and there is data integrity now since udp does not do any of uh, any handshaking so obviously it would not be able to provide the benefits of handshaking as well that means it would not provide any reliability it would not provide any ordering of data it would not provide any data integrity so consequently UDP has unreliable service that means the services that are provided by UDP are not usually reliable so packets might arrive out of order or they may arrive in order also but there is no assurance of the fact that they'll arrive in order or not so they may arrive out of order they may appear to have duplicates or they may disappear without warning since there are no acknowledgements so these are the features of UDP and for this very reason it is not used in cases where you want to have reliability of data transmission but it is used in the cases where you want to have low latency and use minimum bandwidth you want to save bandwidth and you want real-time services in such cases UDP can be used.